Welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Show. Now it's time for our first guest. Now we, we know we promised you that we have two other guests, but now we're going to be looking at some very important conversation from the Department of the Public Offender. Today we're joined by the Director of the Office of the Public Defender. His name is Dr. Babajide Martins, and he'll be joining us this morning via Skype. Good morning, sir, and thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. Thanks sir. for inviting Congratulations on being sworn in as the new director last month, if I'm correct. Yes, I, I was um, appointed. There is no formal swearing. In. Okay, no I formal swearing. You were appointed last month. All right. And how has yes. it been for you between then and now? Um, and I'm asking this because we know that due to the coronavirus uh, pandemic and the isolation, the lockdown, there's an increase in crime rates. There's a lot more cases, a lot of reports of domestic violence. So between coming into office in April and now, how would you say things have been? Oh, definitely there has been an increase in recorded cases. What we do, we have a rescue team that often responds to alleged cases of domestic violence. And the reason why there has been a surge is because there is lockdown people have to stay together now. They were not able to go out. And once people stay together, there is friction, and friction leads to disagreement and aggression. So there has been a slight surge in the number of reported domestic violence. But we are on top of it. We are ensuring that we go and meet with other partners the, the Office of Public Defender is member of the Domestic Violence and Sexual Response Team. So we have a platform on which we get notified of any reported cases of domestic violence. And of course, we also work with police, the um, gender unit of Nigerian Police Lagos Command is also a very uh, effective partner. And also within the Ministry of Justice as well, we work with the citizens' rights and also with the um, Directorate of Public Prosecutions to make sure that people who are alleged to have committed domestic violence get um, prosecuted as soon as possible. Okay. The, only, the only snag there is that the courts are not sitting every day. They are only sitting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, so maybe you should give us a bit of insight into your office. But, but yeah. you know, tell us what your office does and mm -hmm. so that people can understand what the Office of the Public Defender is about and how do you decide what cases to deliberate upon? Yes, the, the Office of Public Defender was established in the year 2000 under the previous government of, uh, uh, of um, um, Mr. Bolatinumbu. And uh, since then, we've been in operation, primarily under the law that established the Office of Public Defender. We are to um, represent indigenous citizens of the states mm -hmm. who need our help. Principally, the nature of assistance we offer is in four main categories. Um, criminal defense has to represent people who have been charged with criminal offenses in our various courts magistrate courts and the high court if they don't have um, a, 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 a sizable a Yes, they must be indigent. Indigent means they have limited resources available to them. Mm -hmm. Then we also have yeah. small teams and the National Industrial Court Unit. That deals with any small claim below 5 million naira. Employee matter, employee gets sacked mm -hmm. for industry employer or an employee gets injured whilst at work. We bring actions on behalf of all the employees. We also deal with tenants and land relationship, but mm -hmm. only at the point of when we realize that a tenant is to be removed from his resident illegal. For initial tenant land relationship gets referred to the citizen mediation center of the biggest the Ministry of Justice. Mm -hmm. Then the, 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 we also have the faculty and uh, child justice. Students. This deals with uh, post cases, maintenance issue, access, postal guardianship. All these are uh, issues that revolve around family. So any member of 
who is indigent, who comes to us to provide legal uh, um, advice and legal representation in this context. I think the other most one that people often see is, is, is the rescue mission for victims who are being uh, victims of domestic violence or children who are being exploited, being subjected to child slavery. We go around and rescue them and bring them before the courts and bring the necessary applications for, for their maintenance. And also, we also support them in getting the perpetrators prosecuted. All right. Sir. If you, yeah. Okay. Um, I just wanted to, um, to, to be clear on uh, some things you said. You said uh, these services are you know, offered to indigent citizens. Are these services yes. free or are they funded in a certain way? Would like to be for people who don't know it's about free. it. You know, yeah, how can they? No. Yeah. The, the Lagos may set up the um, vendor office and under Mr. Governor's security and governance pillar of the team's agenda, it comes within this particular services that we provided. So in ensuring that Lagos is a sustainable place to live and do business and uh, come on a, on a visit, the security and well-being of citizens need to be provided mm -hmm. and taken care of. So, so there is a link between ensuring that Lagos is a safe place to live, to do business and to visit, and ensuring that mm -hmm. citizens' rights are, pro are protected. So this is the interlink between what we do and the, the, the team's agenda of the government. So it's funded, we are fully funded by Lagos State Government. Okay. So members of the public who, have, who access our services do not have to pay. So it's free. Oh, okay. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.